Hello and welcome guys. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this type of beautiful image. So friends, if you want to learn how to make calligraphy in images, so this video is very useful for you. I try to teach very easily and very nicely. So stay tuned and complete follow this method. Today we will learn how to do calligraphy of Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Before we do anything, we need to make sure that everything is aligned. So look at the tallest letter of this calligraphy, which is this um, this letter. It's the highest point and the lowest point, and we're going to do our guidelines for it. So basically, I will draw everything within these guidelines and it's entirely up to us how much spacing we want to keep <laughs> so let's move this to the as you can see here there's another another ways of doing this but I will just stick to the basic guidelines just to give you a perfection of how how close we can do and how nicely we can do it so let's move it as you can see this R it's touching up on the edge of this meme so I want to keep it um, same wavelength from there to about there do you know where this point drops here so I will take that and move it somewhere there so they're, they're both in line with same okay Allah's name always at the top no matter where, what you do so everything you do always keep Allah's name at the top so I will put that there yep yeah. there you go now there's extra alif in the middle I'm gonna put that there so this alif is a bit hanging a bit more so I'm gonna drop it down a bit and reduce its size to about this like this there we go then we will add extra decoration on this so we need to move that a bit there move that a bit down a bit there slightly on that side that's bismillah rahman rahim now we will add um, decorations because it's a scene there so we're gonna um to identify what letter it is we're going to put a small scene there so this will represent that and it's a meme there so we will put small meme just to represent that this letter is meme and this letter is how so to, just to identify what that letter is so we will put um small how there that's a bit too big so there you go small ha this is small ha so we're gonna put that there another ha is there so I'm gonna drag that there and that to me we don't need to highlight it Right, okay. Rahman Kasra One of the Kasra is the smallest one. Kasra
um, into a little bit of decoration so we can just take a few designs there and here and there one of the pattern with this pattern so this can be placed at certain places wherever you feel there's extra space and gaps there you go There you go. I'm just pressing Alt button. One can go in the middle. Another can go in the middle. So at least this gives us little guidelines how much spacing we need to keep in between. So it is pretty much all similar. Okay. Another like right there, Rahim, that thing. Let's get the smallest one there. That's for the actual hat. And this is for the, yeah. Uh, so we need to get rid of that, we don't need that. <laughs> There's space there, it's just perfect space for the perfect pattern. Um, this is this is a unique pattern so we can put that there and I will explain how these patterns will help in beautifying our work okay yes bismillah rahman rahim as you can see so many decorations around so many patterns around, so much design around. Why not decorate the name of, name of Allah when He has decorated the world for us to enjoy? So may Allah increase more, more barakah through this design. I mean, why not? Right, okay. So where were we? Uh, we're pretty much done. There's some few bits and spaces there. So maybe mm, so that big one there. And move that there. And move like the pattern there. Yep, there we go. That's Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim then. Now we can get rid of all that. Don't need it. Delete. Delete. This is it. Now you can see when you draw the square, this fits in really well. Right, if I want to align everything all together, highlight the top bits. Let's highlight the actual on the top bits. And deselect. So what have we selected? Everything at the top. So I'm going to go into align tools and align to top so all the straight line. I will do the same on the bottom. Deselect the big items. So everything at the bottom has been highlighted. I don't want the box. I'm gonna align the align it at the bottom as well. Yep that's done now question is we've got space here this gap so I'm gonna move these two towards the left side So 
So I'm going to align that to the end. There you go. Can you see? A bit more closer. Don't want that too much perfection, but I want this to be moved up till there. So I'm gonna align that to the edge. So everything to the edge, yes. And all this is to the edge, yes. And all this is to the edge, yes. Pretty much, it is edge, but I shifted a bit too much up. There you go. Right, okay, now this edge. Let's shift it to the edge. Yep. We can reduce the size of this a bit down. I can't tell much difference, but uh, we don't need that because we already got reduced one there. So let's put another one there. Yep. Let's put another one pointing in this corner. Yep, and put this there. Mm -hmm. Now, hands have changed the size of this. There we go. Friends, I made two parts of uh, this tutorial. It's the uh, first part, and please visit the second part. I give the link in description. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel for latest update.